sawdusty, obviously, and I'm not in my house. I am in the wood shop for our church, our little workshop space, but I wanted to show you what I'm making. I think I mentioned in my last video that I was going to be making my dad's Christmas present, but I just wanted to show you where I'm at so far, and I will continue bringing you along as we keep making Christmas gifts. So this is what we have so far. I'm making him one of those mountain wood pieces. Hopefully you can tell. Yeah, but basically these will all get wood glued and nailed down to this plywood board and painted and stained and all that good stuff. And then I'll have a frame set around it. And then I think my brother's gonna take it back to Illinois for my father. Project one in progress. Hey everybody, I am not Mr. Crane, but that's the apron I have on. I'm gonna start staining my little wood project I showed you when I was cutting it the other day. That was on Saturday, today's Monday. No, oh my gosh, today's Tuesday. And I'm trying to prioritize my time to get these projects done because I have to get them done by Friday before I leave for a wedding. So we're gonna stain and I'm gonna watch Harry Potter and then we're gonna try and keep moving forward on these projects. But let's time lapse stain this, this wood piece. Hello everybody, we are picking the vlog back up. I am planning the rest of today to keep working on these projects. My goal is to finish a couple of them. I'll walk through the whole thing, but we're leaving for a wedding tomorrow morning. So I have a lot of stuff that I need to finish today because we won't have a lot of time when we get back and things need to get shipped out before Christmas to get there in time and all that good stuff. So the ones that I'm gonna work on today, first off is this painting that I started. I just showed you guys me sketching a couple days ago, but I'm working on the sketch. I need to start painting right now this uh, house for my uh, one of my friends from college. She's giving this painting to her in-laws, so it's a picture of their house that they just moved into. And that is a gift from her, so I need to finish that 
today so I can mail it out by tomorrow at the latest because that's the USPS deadline for getting things um, on time. And the other project that I'm going to work mostly on today is my dad's mountain piece that you saw me working on earlier too. So, so far the background's painted and the wood is all stained. I just need to sand some of the edges before I can glue it down. I have a little time on that one, but I for sure need to get the glue and all that good stuff done because then all I, all I have to do is to trim and frame that next week. And then the other thing that I need to do, which I don't know if I'll have time to get to today, is finish embroidering my friend Bailey's shoes. So I have one completely done. So it has her new last name on the side and on the back the date of their wedding, which is going to be this weekend, um, which is why we're leaving tomorrow. Um, but she's going to be wearing those shoes, so I need to finish them before the end of the day tomorrow. That's my game plan. So my timeline-wise game plan is to start painting this right now and then let it dry and while that's drying then I'll then I'll sand and glue the mountain down on this board which I do need to paint the edges rewind I'm gonna paint the edges you'll see you'll see I'm gonna do a little something on the mountain art and then I'll come back and do the house painting and then after I'm done with the house painting then I'll go back to the mountain art and glue it all down because I'll need the white paint to dry. I have about four hours to work on stuff. So I'm going to get going. Let's paint this mountain. I'm also going to watch TV while I do this because I will be bored. I mean, it's not boring to paint, but I'm going to watch TV. And I'm about to trim the edges off of this piece. So this is what we have right now. I'm pretty happy with it. But as you can see, some of the edges are hanging off over here. So I'm going to trim these over here on the table saw. And I'm going to cut off this side, go straight along there, and same on the other side. And then we'll be ready to frame her up. So let's get going on this thing.
Okay, everybody, I have finished this art piece. I'm very happy with it. I put, just put, finished putting the frame on, screwed that all in, wood glued that down. So technically the wood glue and the stain needs to sit for a while. So I'll let it sit overnight and then I'm gonna drop it off with my brother to take back to my parents' house. Let's do the final reveal here. finally going to open my package of the fabrics that I ordered to make Christmas pajamas. I started cutting out a pattern over there. I'm tracing some pajamas that I already have, so we'll see how it actually turns out. Because I don't even know how to use a normal pattern. So this is just, I'm just trying stuff. We're going to figure it out. But I wanted to open the fabric on here. I mentioned in my last video that this fabric was made by my neighbor where my parents live. Melissa, she's very talented, but I'm really excited to see these. Mmm, they're nice and thick. Cute. Okay, so I'm doing two tones. So I got two different kinds. So we have this teal. Oh, these are going to be very warm. Oh, it's so cute. The bears and the deer. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. So I'm going to do... I think one pant leg will be one pattern, one pant leg will be the other, and then opposites on the top part. Um, that's my plan right now. And also, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing, so we're just gonna do it. Designed by Melissa Johnson Designs. So cute. projects. I will admit it is January 6th. <laughs> Anyways, I just want to show you the final product of my PJs. I'm proud of them. They are totally not perfect, but I can wear them and that's exciting. This is my first time ever making clothing on my own from the sewing machine and I learned a lot. So like I, I made a pair for me and I made a pair for Harrison. So whoever's I started on first, for example, I started on the waistband for my pants first. So it's not very good. And then I realized <laughs> what I was doing wrong. And so Harrison's waistband is way better. Um, but just trying to learn as I go. And yeah, hopefully there'll be more sewing projects in the future and just all around projects. But this was a fun little crafty vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And I just look forward to doing more of this with you guys, just learning more, trying new stuff. 
and I hope you'll stick around. See you guys next time.